Okay, here we are. We have the live stream. If you haven't watched the live stream yet, there should be a link somewhere around here. We did this holly with a two, not Pontix, but tooth color acrylic blocks. And during the sprinkling of this, I took too long explaining myself, and I just took too long in general, and I messed up the labial acrylic. I don't know if you can see that. It's got too many air bubbles in it, All right? So, like I promised, I'm going to show how I repair this. Let's go to the other shot. So, hopefully you can see this, the air bubbles in there. It's hard to see because it's clear. But, yeah, there you go. That's a great shot. See all the air bubbles in there? It's because it's set up too fast before I get it into the pressure pot. So, the acrylic did exothermic reaction and bubbles. So, first thing I do, you got to strip that acrylic off. So, I got a brand new burr here. Not burr, stainless steel bristle brush burr. And I usually do this under the hood because this will shoot hot acrylic at you and this, but I didn't get that camera set up. So I'm sacrificing for everybody. Now the reason I like to use this is because I cut through the acrylic fast. I do have a fan on, on me and it's doing a good job blowing everything away from me. And it, it so this, bristle brush wire brush is also what's called cuts through it just like that and so and it does not damage the labial bow so something I should have done and I didn't do was I should have prepped this so let's prep this making sure it's nice and clean I'm gonna put some separator on here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually put separator as much as I can, just in case there's any spillover. But what we're going to do is probably box out the most, I believe one of the live streamers, ba -ba -ba, Iliac Martinez, I think it was him, said that, that he uses the box out method to replace the labial acrylic. And he's like me, he didn't like doing it. So I'm going to paint, so this is separator I'm using is called part all and it's an acrylic to acrylic separator and I'm gonna paint that we're gonna let it dry we're gonna do another paint and that'll be it okay that did not take long you know the thinner the coats the less time it takes so second coat and I usually you know that is the default I don't have to worry about painting it back here so sorry that's my default amount of coats so two to three definitely always do two and then I put a little drop on the table, but you can't see it, it's over to the side. So I'm gonna put a little on the brush and then paint. Everywhere you do not want acrylic. Now, that does not count this, so don't paint it on here. So I'm gonna clean that up. We're gonna let that dry. So how's everybody doing? Cowboys won last night. That's a good thing. They needed that. They needed that win. Let's see. I got my computer here. And I think I'm getting close. This is almost dry. So, just a few minutes. The separator, let me show that to you, is this. It's not. It's a part all. Parting solution. From JBC and Company. JBCandCompany.com. Or you can call that number there. Pause the video and call that number. Part all parting solution. Not to be used on 3D printed arch models because mainly this was designed for acrylic to acrylic separator. Kind of like why I painted it on the retainer so that acrylic will not stick to that. I use this a lot for like twin blocks. So you'll see that I have a lesson you can pay seven bucks for. It's a four part lesson of twin box, twin blocks construction start to finish. And we, I use that stuff on there, and I, it shows how, how well it works. Okay. Still a little wet. See how it's glossy? You can't see that. See how it's glossy? So it, I'm still waiting on that to... You, it, this has to absolutely be 
dry before you do anything like this. So I have some sticky wax, not sticky wax, utility wax up here. And I have my hot glue gun. And that should be all I need for this. Uh, I like the hot glue gun because it will peel, it peels off so easy. Whereas the, the, the wax will not peel off so easily. It, it will smear. And, and so if you don't have your steamer, if you don't have a steamer, it's hard to get this wax off. Otherwise, I'd be waxing the crap out of it. All right, so we're better. Not as glossy. So we're going to put the retainer back on. And actually, I'm going to adjust this a little bit with the pliers just to get this to lay down better. I don't know what happened to it. Probably during the pulling off, when you go to separate this off of the model, you can stretch. It's usually here and here. And okay, we're good there. So now, take my hot glue and I'm just going to make a, a border. Nothing fancy. There we go. I'm gonna let that. I'm gonna let that cool just for a little bit. I'm actually gonna hold it. Oh, there we go. When it starts getting cloudy, it's almost there. So I'll show the wax part so you can kind of see. I would have done this on the bottom part, but you could just push this into place. Yeah. And what Iliac was saying on the live stream was he uses a wax, he block boxes. It's kind of a denture term that you use, a technique you use to do with dentures for, I don't know, what am I trying to think of? Relines and stuff. So I'm trying to seal it real good. I, when it, that way, any kind of spillover, I don't want it to get onto here, then I gotta re-clean this. My ideal is this will just steam off, I don't have to touch it, and all I have to do is just do the label acrylic. So this is still a little warm. I'm gonna put it under the fan, because that will cause the, the label acrylic to set up faster when it's warm. I do have my tinted clear. That's what I always use for the label acrylic because it, it prevents yellowing of the acrylic. And then I have my basic splint acrylic. I like to use a splint acrylic for the labial acrylic because it's harder and more clear. Um, hopefully, if I do it right, you can't see this on it when it's in the mouth. It just looks kind of bulky, kind of like when someone wears Invisalign. You can't really tell they got something in, but you can tell they have something in. Uh, that's what this should look like. All right, let me switch cameras here. I'm going to start with some liquid. I like to get it really wet uh, this first go through. Make sure it gets up underneath that wire. Honestly, I don't think I even need to cut this. So I'm going to pat it with my finger just to pack it down, uh, release any air bubbles. And actually, I'll take my finger and I'm going to rub some of this. There we go. I think we're good there. So I'm going to put that in the pressure pot. I'll put a little bit of powder on there to keep it from slumping. So the rest of this is just doing like a regular labial acrylic you're going to peel off the this part i don't think i need to film it you've seen me do labial acrylic all the time and then you peel off the wax and then you're good to go you've protected everything in here and you you put some separator here just in case the labial acrylic the acrylic spills over and i guess i better hurry up and put this in the pressure pot before it before it bubbles up again Okay, that's it. I will do my best to post a picture of the final result. Uh, and then if I've kept that, I don't know what I did with the old label acrylic, but it's here around here. So maybe I'll take it side by side. But anyway, hope that helps out. Those that 
uh, mess up their labial acrylic like I did, and this will help. This is how I fix it. And you can see it's a pretty easy process. There's just a lot of cleanup and prep for, especially on 3D printed models. The good thing about 3D printed models is the teeth don't break as easy as plaster models. So if you're putting labial acrylic on plaster models, you can keep a little cup. Pro tip I got from Jason Brown, who was actually on the live stream, my former, I was a lab manager under him, under his lab, and he keeps a little cup by the pressure pot. And then as he's taking the retainers off of the model and the, any of the front teeth break, he'll pop them into that cup. And if we need to come back and add label acrylic or do a repair, we can dig through there and find those teeth, glue them back on, do the repair. Because plaster and stone, the, the teeth will break off, especially when you do labial acrylic. So extra pro tip at the end. So hope that helps. And I will see y'all in the next live stream. Until then, happy bending and have fun out there.